Hello techies and welcome back. I'm your instructor Sambhav. In today's session we are going to continue our discussion on proc print. This is the second part of proc print. If you have not seen my previous videos on proc print, don't forget to check them out. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, then please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and also hit the bell icon to get updates on my latest video. Let's get started. So in today's session, we are going to talk about the var statement in proc print and what are the different options available for us to use in the var statement of proc print. Then we'll also talk about the sum statement and finally we'll do some practicals to have a better understanding of var and sum statements. So I hope you remember that in the previous session we have discussed that proc print is mainly used to display or print the observations and the variables of the data set and this is the syntax of it. In the previous session, we have discussed proc print and we have also talked about the six options which I have already seen in the last class. In today's session, we will restrict our discussion uh, with var and some statements. We will be talking about these two statements of proc print. Now, the var statement, it is again one of the simplest statements used in proc print, which is mainly used to select the variables of the data set which you want to actually print. That means it gives you the power to select the variables which you actually want to print in the data set. Let's say for example if I print my data set proc print data is equal to sasl.class run. So what the statement will do is it will print the entire data set. That means it will print all the observations and all the variables, right? In the last session, we have discussed about first OBS and OBS, which gave us power to selectively print the observation. First OBS and OBS was used mainly to select from which observation we want to print the result till which observation we want to print the result. But in that situation also, we were actually printing all the variables of the data set. Now, what if I want to print only few variables from the data set? There are many situations when you will be uh, when you're working with your projects you may not require all the variables to be printed so you can selectively print them and this can be done by using the var statement so all you have to do is proc print data is equal to sasl.class and then in order to select the variables which you want to print you will use the option you will use the statement var followed by the list of variables you want to print. Let's say for example, I just want to print name, age, and let's say uh, height, right, run. Now if I execute this statement, what will happen is SAS will only print the three variables, that is name, age, and height. It is not printing all of them, right? Now another, another important usage of var is that you can print this uh, result, the data set, and these variables in the order you want. Let's say, for example, if I execute this uh, in the first piece of code where we are printing the entire data set, which is name, sex, uh, age, height, and weight, and you know that the reason why they, we have got this order that is the first variable as name, second variable as sex, third variable as age, fourth as height, and fifth as weight. This order is because this is the order in which the variables are being created. So the first created variable is name, second created variable is sex, third is age and so on and so forth. Now what if I want to print selected variables and that too in a different order. Let's say for example I want to print age to be as a first variable and then name to be as a second variable and then sex to be as a third variable. In that situation also we will be using same proc print statement so proc print proc print statement along with the van proc print data is equal to sasl dot class var so i want age to be as a first variable name to be as a second variable and sex to be as a third third variable so var statement is not only used to select the variables which you want to print but also it will help you to define the order in which you want to print those variables. Let's say for example if I execute this code you will see the first variable 
would be my age, second variable would be my name, and the third variable would be my sex. So that is what I have defined here as well. So without a var statement, we know that all the variables of the data sets will be printed in the order they occur in the data set. So if you want to use a var statement, var statement is mainly used for two purposes, to select the variables which you want to print and also to mention the order in which you want to print. Now assume that you have been given a data set, let's say for example, let me execute this code. Now, <clears throat> now assume that you have been given a data set which has got, you know, let's say 50 variables or 60 variables or 100 variables. In this example, we just have few of them, that is five. But assume that there are 50 or 100 variables given in your data set. But what if you want to print only the numeric variables or only the character variables? In those situations, it would become really very tedious for us to, you know, type each of the numeric variable or type all the character variables one by one. In order to assist, SAS has actually provided us keywords such as numeric, care and all. So when you're using the keyword underscore numeric underscore, SAS will print all the numeric variables whenever you use the char option that is underscore char underscore with the var statement, SAS will actually print the character variable and all to print all of them. So let's do some practical proc print data is equal to sasl dot class. And then we'll use the var statement. Let's say in the first example, I want to print only the numeric variable, right? All the numeric variables. Now, what will happen is in this data set, there are three numeric variables, age, height, and weight. So when I specify the option numeric with the var statement, what SAS will do is it will actually print only the numeric variables. That is your age, height, and weight. Similarly, you can also use var statement to print all the characters so you will use char underscore char underscore and let's execute the code and see right so what size will do is it will print only the character variables now similarly we have another option called as all so what all does is it will actually help us to print all the variables in the data set which is actually equivalent to uh, simply typing a proc print statement without a var statement so if i execute this piece of code you will notice that sas prints all of them all the variables name sex age height whether it is numeric whether it is character or whatever it is right now guys assume that i am writing this piece of code and i am writing var underscore numeric underscore can, right now in this situation what will happen in this example where I have mentioned numeric and then cat it means that SAS will first print all the numeric all the numeric variables and then all the character variables let's execute this piece of code and see the result so you see SAS is actually printed printing all the numeric variables first which is age and height and then the weight and then the character variable which is your name and sex now guys can you guess the output of this code if i type all as well all as well okay so you might be thinking okay if i have specified all means it will print all the data set, all the variables now not exactly what sas would do is when you are specifying all the three options that is numeric character and all what SAS would do is it will first print all the numeric variable, then it will print all the character variable, and then it will print all the variables. All the variables. So let's execute this piece of code and see the result. So you see, SAS has first printed all the three numeric variables, followed by two character variables, and then all of them. Then all of the variables, right? So that is how var statement is helpful to us. Let's do some examples. So here I have given three questions. Print only age and name of the students from the sasl.class data set. So what I'll do is I'll use a var statement and it is asking me to print the age and name. So I will give age and name run, right? 
So if I execute this piece of code, you will see only age and name is being printed, right? Similarly, there is another question print all the numeric variable for the sasl.class dataset. So all you have to do is in the var statement, you just have to use the underscore numeric, which I have done over here. And then if you want to print all the character variables, only the character variables that you will use this particular option, which is underscore char, this piece of code. So if I execute this, you'll get the result, which is only name and sex. So this is what a var statement can do for us. The next statement which you're going to study is a sum statement. So as the word sum itself says that it is going to find the sum, the arithmetic sum, the total, right? So it is used to find the sum of numeric variables. Of course, uh, we cannot find sum for character variables, so it will find it for numeric variables. Now, if how can I use it? Let's say proper and data is equal to sasl.class run now if i want to now let's let me print this data set once so let's say for example we have age height weight let's assume that you want to find the total age the sum of the age so what you will do you will use the statement sum and then you will specify the variable so age now if I execute this what will happen sas will actually find the sum of the age at the bottom now guys another question uh, okay, let me take another example, height. So I want to print the sum of age and height. So what will happen? At the bottom you will see this is a sum of your age and this is a sum of your height, right? Like previous example where we have used the keyword numeric, you can also use a numeric keyword over here. So we can use sum underscore numeric, sorry. underscore numeric underscore right so what sas will do sas will actually find or calculate the sum of all the numeric variables available in this data set so in this case it is age height and weight right now guys there are 19 observations over here there are 19 observations over here now an interesting question for you just think for a moment and let me know what if i also use n here does it affect the total number of observations is that you know that n is going to print the total number of observations at the bottom of the bottom of the data set so here we have seen that we have three sum value is it actually going to affect the total number of observations that means it is it going to become n is equal to 20 or is n still going to remain 19 that is the total number of observations what do you think let's check it out so you will notice that n is equal to still 19 it means that the observation of the data set is still the same nothing has changed only difference here is that when you are using the sum statement it is only finding the sum which is not an additional observation in the data set the result appears to be in the next record in the next line but it does not contribute to the entire data set that means it is not contributing in terms by adding a new observation a new observation does not get added in this case so in this scenario the total number of observation remains the same so that was about the sum statement and guys please let me know the list of topics you want me to discuss and please please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon thank you so much for your time and patience guys you have a wonderful day ahead